A new project is combining art and science to show how our brains are stimulated when we see a beautiful painting. Artists collaborate with robotic painters in the age of artificial intelligence. Dogs bring a whole new leash of life to Mexican Museum. Here are the details. People visiting the Courtauld Gallery in London can try the technology and see their own brainwaves in real time as they admire works by some of the world's most famous artists including Van Gogh. And I think we all know that there's something that happens when we look at something that is beautiful or something that's intriguing. But what this is showing is the pattern of your brain waves when, uh, when you see something that intrigues or inspires or creates an emotion. And we're hoping that that will encourage people to come into museums and to try it for themselves. We're taking the actual headsets around to museums uh, in the next year, to various museums right across the UK. We're starting right here this morning in the Courtauld Gallery, surrounded by these beautiful Impressionist paintings, just to see what it does to your brain. No, I think it's a great way to bridge the worlds of science and art, in fact, because this, they're using a scientific tool, which we use routinely in the field, and they're applying it in this context to really show people uh, you know, that science and art can come together. And the visualization that they've come up with is actually a really nice way to uh, bring this signal that we're measuring, which could be otherwise boring, into a nice, lively form. Those taking part were an electroencephalogram, or EEG headset, which turned the tiny electrical signals from their brain into a real-time visualization of their reaction. Uh, it's been really interesting actually, so um, walking around, um, I've just been taking it in just like normal and then seeing what it actually looks like on the screen is amazing, really, really, really good. Research commissioned by Art Fund shows that while 95% of people agree visiting a gallery does its good, 40% visit less than once a year. There is a common perception and what we found was that 95% of people agree that going into an art gallery and looking at beautiful art is good for us and it's beneficial in various ways. But what we found is that 4 in 10 people actually only go once a year or less. So what this is showing is it really does, it really does create something in you that is experiential, that is quite extraordinary. And come and try it, come and uh, come back into museums and galleries and come and try this particular headset or just look at it for yourself and think about what it's doing to you. Research has shown that seeing something beautiful triggers the release of dopamine in our brains, which is a known feel-good transmitter. You know, when we engage with art and, and we, that we find beautiful, we, again, our experience of art will change from one piece to another, but if you find beauty in a piece of art that engages the part of your brain toward the front there, uh, and that part coincides with regions that are usually targeted in sort of clinical treatments for things like depression, and it's also a seat of uh, other signals for reward and pleasure and uh, the concept of the self. So lot, lots of things are happening in that area, and it's, I think, fascinating that engaging with art also engages that same area. The Art Fund hopes highlighting the positive impact of looking at art has on our psychology and well-being will encourage more people to visit galleries and museums.
Art meets artificial intelligence at gallery in London, with the opening of new show by artist and AI researcher Suen Chang, whose collaborations with robotic painters can sell for tens of thousands of pounds. Chang is rare in the art world, having previously been a researcher at MIT's Media Lab and has presented a TED Talk entitled Why I Draw with Robots. My name is Su Guan Chung, and I'm an artist and researcher working in the intersection of art and technology. Uh, what that intersection means for me is to an extent reconciling um, different modes of expression. I think uh, what I love about working with new technologies is the potential of building the tools that, um, that suit and that help shape my own creative expression and way of navigating the work uh, and world through creativity. Chang is regarded as a pioneer of human and machine collaboration even being named among the inaugural Time 100 AI list as one of the 100 most influential people in AI 2023 under the innovator category. You know, I think there's something about artistic practice and technological development that's about um, sort of chasing one's uh, curiosity, but also uh, finding ways to shape um, an exploration that isn't bounded by reason or logic, but something maybe a bit more intuitive and expressive. The Chinese Canadian was born in Hong Kong, China, and brought up in Toronto by an opera singing father and a computer programming mother. Chang now works with various kinds of robots, including those designed and built to mimic movements recognized by computer vision technology. Named DOUG, Drawing Operations Unit Generation, these machines mimic the artist's hand-drawn gestures and synchronously draw long. Uh, so I've been working in the space of art technology, AI robotics, um, for uh, about 15 years now. Um, I'm really interested in the evolution of the human hand and ways to extend my own drawing sensibility through various technologies, AI systems, robotics, virtual reality. Um, I've been developing a multi-generational project called Drawing Operations in which I've been uh, thinking about the robotic unit as a type of collaborator. Um, through that uh, pursuit of hybridity and form, I've worked with AI systems, uh, I've worked with neural networks, I've worked with um, uh, computer vision and public cameras to uh, think about ways drawing can expand and how the mark made by hand can uh, shape and be shaped by the mark made by machine. Chang's new exhibition, Relational Gestures, at the House of Fine Art in Mayfair. Dogs and the special bond they have with humans have inspired artists for thousands of years. Now the Museo Tamayo in Mexico City has put together an exhibition of modern art pieces that both humans and their furry friends can visit. Lorenzo Iresti, curatorial assistant for the museum's collection, said the exhibition is a selection of works from the museum's collection and was designed so that both dogs and owners can experience the works. The exhibition we have at the museum was made thinking of the interaction that the dogs near the museum could experiment what we can offer inside our galleries. 
We selected some of the works we have in our collection. The idea is for the visitors and the dogs to approach and interact with the artwork. I think it's really good that places such as this one provide the opportunity to bring your pet to enjoy together the exhibition. It would be amazing to have other art places such as this one where you could spend time with your dog. It would be great. Mila Cohen, a sixth grade student who visited the exhibition, said she appreciated the idea that she could take her dog I loved the idea that dogs could enter. I like to take my dog everywhere. If my dog isn't able to go somewhere, I'm not going. I really liked the idea, but I hoped it would be more interactive, that dogs could do something. If you're coming here with your dog, they should be able to do something. how dogs interact with a space that is completely strange to them. The readings of the exhibition are based on emotions, and the affectionate relationship that exists between an owner and their dog is always there, and even more so now that we open this space for that.